You'll need to befriend a group of pirates. Then ask them about the owner of this cutlass. Uh, right. And for heaven's sake, keep your wits about you. These are treacherous men. Join in! <laughs> Yank his hair and break his nose. Watch your back, it's Jolly Joe. Have your root beer, hold it high. Whack your ship, take in the eye. Yank his hair and break his nose. Watch your back, it's Jolly Joe. You got it, Keep it up, lads. Swing your ship, mate, promenade. Smack him with a rusty blade. Spin around and do si -do. Watch your step, it's Jolly Joe. Jolly, but they don't look so jolly. I can't believe deep enough that deck's got to be swapped. Uh, excuse me, gentlemen. I was wondering if you could, um, if you could tell me, uh, uh... <laughs> What's the matter there? Parrot's got your tongue? <laughs> well, I, uh... He looks like a captain, but he talks like a cabin boy! <laughs> it isn't gonna work. Let's just go. Let me try. You gotta know how to talk to these guys. Arg! Was a fine day at sea today. Took a 12-gun brigantine and 10,000 pieces of eight. Arg! Well, we took an 18-gun sloop and 20,000 pieces of eight. Aye, but did you show no mercy? Not a bit! Were you cruel and unusual? The cruelest! Tell me, hearties, that was a fine day. <laughs> <laughs> Grab a chair and join the game! All right. <laughs> Come on in! Pour em up, pour em up. <clears throat> By the way, mateys, have any of you seen this? <laughs> Is that a yes or a no? I lad. The cutlass belongs to Robert. Robert the Terrible. My uncle. You have his cutlass, but you're not he. The others were fooled, but I know better. You know where we could find this fella? His fortress is hidden. But I've heard tell of an island past the rocks of Malabar. On that island, a cave. And in that cave, the clues to find him, his secret lair. Not that I'd go looking for it. And why shouldn't I? They don't call him Robert the Terrible for nothing. He's the king's own brother, but he's as bad as the king is good. Tried to take the throne by force, he did, and for his treachery, was banished from Monteria. So he's a little nasty. A little? Aren't you up for a little adventure? <laughs> I hear tell, locked deep in his fortress, he's harnessed the mechanical arts to make himself stronger than the king. With terrible iron legs and arms. Not that terrible. His iron claw can crack a coconut. Stop trying to scare him. Story says he's waiting for the king to step away. Just long enough to grab his beloved children and take the throne for his own. So, what would he do with them? For Robert to claim the throne, they must be gone. <gasps> On vacation? Princess Eloise. <laughs> so, what would he do with someone who was helping the prince and princess? 
a cucumber slices much more easily than a coconut. Hi Over Pete's sake. Okay, that's enough adventure for this guard. Clearing tables is really kind of fun when you think about it. Don't leave without me. Which way would be, uh, home? George, Sedgwick, Elliot, where are you going? We must sail for the island at once. Unless, of course, our heroes are giving up. <laughs> oh, no. It's just that, you know, uh, heroes can be very busy. And now that this situation is under control, we've been beckoned to another crisis. Somewhere else. You must be mistaken. The Help Seeker brought you here, and only the Help Seeker can send you back. According to my father's notes, the red button brings help, and the blue button sends you home. But I don't believe it will light until your work here is done. I want to go home! Just get me back to 1972! I'll walk from there! I don't understand. You're our heroes. Brave as lions and cunning as foxes. Are you the lion? Because I'm not the lion. No, you're the chicken. He's the spineless sea sponge. Who are you? I don't know. I'm like a sleepy little panda. My father brought you here for a reason, and your work here is not done. <laughs>